Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about exactly what you need to do to progress through the entirety of the Swarm Gate mode, starting from the very beginning all the way to the end. Right now, I am on uh, my alt account. Uh, I have absolutely zero progress on this account. I have no maps, I have nothing unlocked. This is just bare bones. So, before we start, a couple things to talk about. Character selection. Uh, you will start out with Jinx and Seraphine, and you can unlock the rest through objectives. Uh, through objectives, you will also be unlocking pretty much everything else, uh, ranging from weapons, passives, uh, features, maps, uh, more utility, on all the likes, and there will be more tabs as you unlock more stuff. On the yeah, no maps, uh, you can play this game mode by yourself, or we can play with friends, and then. Uh, once you unlock uh, Matchmaking Island, you can play online with uh, random people. The game scales uh, with the number of players, so the game will be much easier relatively when you're playing solo. Uh, if you're playing with multiple people, the game will be harder to compensate for having multiple people. So, before we jump right in, uh, uh, let's talk about the things you want to think about moving forward. To start, uh, the choice between Jinx and Seraphine is pretty easy. Uh, Jinx is a character that specializes in single target DPS. Uh, she has to dedicate her both of her abilities to have decent AoE capability. And frankly, she's just kind of underwhelming for just the entirety of your playthrough. I mean, you can play her if she, you think she's fun, but for the most part, Seraphine is a much more well-rounded and uh, just more cha more powerful champion to play. Next, we have uh, the objectives. Uh, it's important to understand what you're trying to unlock and what you need to do to get there because uh, your progress is going to be gated very heavily by not having stuff unlocked. See, I don't even have the ability to upgrade my stuff yet, but uh, I will be able to do so once I have completed my first run. So, this game can be completed it, like you can beat the first map uh, on your second run I've done it before just by chance so I'm gonna talk about how you want to do that uh, to start uh, you have to like look at what you can unlock the core concept for this game is evolving as many weapons as possible uh, during the game you will have access to multiple different weapons and the ability to evolve them and the evolved form is a much more powerful version of the base version to do so you need to have certain passives unlocked so with health regen you will unlock you'll be if you have it in the game you will be able to evolve weapons that use health regen to evolve uh, this is going to be very important because early on the Weapons that you can evolve the fastest with the least amount of unlocks are going to be the Blade Orang, which I have to unlock. I haven't unlocked it yet. Uh, and the Cybernetic Slicers, which use this. Uh, to meet those requirements, I have to survive for 5 minutes. Additionally, a couple other things I, I would want to unlock. Uh, passive Inventory Slots. Uh, this will help me out uh, a lot. It will give me a little bit of leeway. And additionally, Passive Move Speed, which will be used to... Uh, evolve the blade ring. If I get to Static Sword, if I reach level 20 on my first run, uh, I can play around that as well. But uh, if not, it might take a couple more runs. And if you are not able to do it on, on your first, or first few runs, that's okay. So my goal is pretty much get three passives and survive as long as possible. Uh, this is going to be tab and then... Okay, so you move. WASD to move. C, switch from auto auto aim to manual control. So this is auto aim. I'm not doing anything. Manual aim, it'll follow your cursor. And very simple. Throughout the early game, you are going to want to plan for what you are like. Alright, you pick up weapons and you can pick passes. These are pa just passive stat boosts, and this is like weapons that all augment your gameplay. Uh, so for now, I will take Ooh, Blaster. Uh, 
early on, uh, it's a little underwhelming, but uh, as you progress, uh, that weapon in particular is probably the less, the best weapon in the game. However, right now, in the early game, it's not very useful. It shoots those little bolts that you can see. Which, I mean, helps a little bit. But, I was not just this as well later. Yeah, I have three weapon choices. Uh, I am going to... Honestly, what I want to do doesn't really matter here, because it's... The first run, and I can't evolve anything anyway. So I'm just playing to survive as long as possible. Early on, in every run, you want to try to collect as much experience as possible. Uh, it's a little tricky on your first run because you don't have access to health regen. And as a result, you can't take damage because it is permanent. However, Seraphine has access to a very nice tool in her shield. And this can be used to protect her in times where she might be taking damage. Okay. First event. I don't have my shield for this. I can kind of just walk out of it. I'm perfectly okay. I want to collect as much armor as possible, but I also want to collect three passes. Armor will help me survive longer than normal. So I will pick it up and it will help me get three passes. So right now, in this run, the only way I can heal is I get it from a random health draw. Uh, these crates, they can drop gold, uh, either like 5, 10, or you can get health packs, which will heal you. So the only way I can heal is if I pick up one from a crate. So because of that, not being very reliable, I'm just going to avoid taking damage as much as possible. At the same time, I'm also going to try to do as much damage as possible, clear as many enemies as I can. I get more experience faster, meaning I level up faster and I have more access to different weapons. Okay, let's take With Ulu Blaster and Gatling Bunny Guns, uh, I should have enough damage to be able to deal with it eventually. Our Seraphine doesn't specify in single target damage, she specializes in AoE. She, notice how her projectile, she fires, uh, like her, her E is from League. Uh, Jinx fires different projectiles that are better for hitting single targets. I don't know if here. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll do this just... Okay. Meaning, I'm gonna kill this pretty slowly. However, certain weapons, like Ulu Blaster, uh, pretty good for single target DPS if it, it actually locks on. That's why I, I generally prefer the Gatling Money Guns. Uh, as as when, in your first few runs, this is probably one of the most reliable weapons. I also have access to my ultimates, which uh, I'll just do this, sure. Which uh, is a very good uh, AOE ability. Oh. I'm gonna use this. Instantly cleared all these enemies. Okay, this right here. An elite monster. Uh, they have. Okay, I used shield to forget about that. Uh, they are more powerful versions of normal monsters, uh, and they have different effects. So this one has a lightning effect. If you stand near it while the lightning is active, uh, you will take damage. There's a blue one, and then there's also a purple one, and they have different abilities. Uh, I clear a path using the manual aim. Uh, that's not going to be possible. I am taking quite a bit of damage. It's okay. Five minutes in, so we unlocked some stuff. Oh, okay. I'm going to use my shield again. More bosses spawned. Not very great. Let's, let's do this. So Seraphine's ult also, something that people will talk about, it gives invincibility frames, which will be very good. Oh, there's a card up there I want to pick up, if I can. 
the cards on the, these cards will be used to upgrade something that you already have unlocked. Uh, if you have the ability to evolve a weapon, they will also be used to do that. So a lot of players will intentionally leave them on the ground so that when they have the ability to evolve a weapon, uh, they can do so. However, I do not have the ability to evolve a weapon, nor will I this run, so I'm not going to worry about that. Oh. oh. Magnets. The rainbow things on the ground are, uh, will be pulling everything towards me, so anything you haven't picked up, uh, they're just, I mean, they're generally pretty nice to have if you know that you're not going to be picking up a lot. Oh, it's fine. Little cock. I need to pick up some health. Eminently. I cannot outrun that. Okay. Not very far. So let's look at what we unlocked. We unlocked Blade Ring. Health Regen. Three different passives in one game. Moose Speed. Uh, got some gold. We can go to play again. We also have access to upgrades. Uh, here you will be able to passively upgrade your champion uh, in the game. You have to unlock a lot of stuff. How to unlock each thing, it'll tell you in objectives. Uh, I have some gold, so let's buy what I can. Hi, completed. Early on, you want to try to unlock... Uh, you want to put points into... Okay, so I, I didn't do this, so that might be kind of bad. You want to put points into health regen and armor. I'd say like at least two in each should be your priority. Uh, that'll keep you healthy enough to be able to play the game. Because as you notice, I was taking damage. I wasn't regening. Uh, having some points in regen uh, will allow you to always be able to heal up if you take up a little bit of damage. As a result, uh, it'll be a little difficult. However, I do ha now have the ability to unlock health regen in-game. Which will help me out quite a bit. So, similar to the last game, my goal is to survive, except I actually do have the tools to beat the stage. So, if I am fortunate enough, I will try to do that. Okay, these are three options that I will want to take. I, all three of these are good. Uh, for now, I'll prioritize the weapon, just because it'll be a little stronger in the early game. I should not have taken damage there. But, once I unlock health region, I'll be finding it again. Hopefully it'll be okay. So the weapons that I want to prioritize are the cybernetic slices, which I just picked up, and the blader ring. Because those are the only two weapons at this point in time that I would be able to evolve. To evolve, I need to level them up to five, and then afterwards I'll have the ability to upgrade them to a stronger form uh, by picking up a card. Okay, I'll have health regen now. I'm slowly healing. Not very fast, but uh, the ability to heal at all, given enough time, is very, very nice. Uh, I'm trying to do as much damage as possible without taking any, so that there's less enemies to worry about and more experience to pick up. I'll use my shield at the last moment to move past all these enemies. One of the reasons why Seraphine is a much better pick than... than Jinx. Okay, I do need to be on the lookout for movement speed, because that's the other passive that I want to prioritize. Armor is will be important just for keeping me alive, even though it won't help me evolve anything. Apart from that, uh, the other two weapons don't really matter, I just pick uh, things that are strong enough to he keep me alive. That, okay, that's the sound for when uh, either a card or a health pack. Another thing to mention is uh, Seraphine's, like each champion's gonna have their abilities, uh, their weapon, and then their passive. Seraphine's passive uh, allows her to have like, a 25% chance to multi shoot projectiles, so occasionally she will attack twice. Like, uh, 
And that's just another thing to keep in mind when selecting your champion. Movement speed. And kite around in a circle while it's safe to do so. I'm gonna postpone using my ult just so I can use it when I'm like really swarmed by stuff like that. I still haven't picked up Blader Ring, so I want to hold off on picking up too many weapons in case I don't hit it. I don't need it. I don't like I, I can do this with a single weapon evolve. However, it would be much better to have both. Okay. Alright, here. I will prioritize the weapon. Actually, but maybe it's for health regions, the correct answer. I use my shield to escape this. As staying confined in there is very dangerous, as you notice, I've been moving around a lot. Just to avoid taking damage. Let's pick up damage here. There's two cards, which I'll have to pick up later on. These cards would be used to evolve weapons if I had the criteria met, which is uh, the passive required and the level 5. To know what passive... Oh. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, each weapon needs, you can press tab. It'll tell you... It'll show you every weapon and what stat they evolve with. You might not recognize every stat immediately, but after playing a couple of runs, you'll get the hang of it. However, there'll be a lot of cards to pick up on the ground over time, so I'm not worried about not picking up uh, cards. Okay. I'm gonna prioritize weapons. They'll make me stronger than passes goal. Maybe in the early game, it's correct to take like armor and health regen whenever possible, but I'm not taking that much damage yet. So I think getting closer to an evolved weapon, especially like if it's one of the two that I will evolve, might be a higher priority. Not so sure yet. Okay, that right there is a bomb. Uh, if I touch it, it'll clear out so like weaker enemies. It'll do the like, damage in an AoE. Okay, I'm level five. So on the next card I pick up, which I I will get a card if I kill one of these like mini bosses. And because I have health regen and cybernetic slices, oh wait, cyclonic slices, I can evolve with my weapon and it becomes a much stronger version. And this is very good because it'll keep me relatively stable. As you see, it's, it's a massive uh, difference in survivability. I want to try to reach like open space as much as possible, not get like blocked in. Okay. Ult for the invincibility frames to clear out these dangerous bombs. I'm not close to evolving, so I'm just gonna pick this up anyway. Once I'm a little closer, I'd be more willing to leave that on the ground. Use my shield to get out of this, because this is quite dangerous. Okay, I might need a little a tiny one more point in move speed just because it's a little close with escaping the bombs. You may have noticed that I've stopped hitting, like, random things. Once you have filled out each, like, pool, your passive pool and your weapon pool, you will no longer f uh, find new ones. You'll only be able to upgrade things that you already have if it's full. So if you fill out your weapons, you will not find new weapons. But you can still pick up new passives if you haven't filled it out. Planning around which weapons you pick up, which passes you pick up, will be very important later on as uh, the game gets more difficult, and as you won't have the ability to evolve more things. The ones I've chosen are not bad. Uh, they're actually pretty good, but they're the only options I have, so... I have to play around that condition. However, later on, the, uh, you, when there's more choices, you can pick based on what passives you want, what weapons you like, which ones you take. 
Okay, health regen. Because health regen is maxed, uh, it'll no longer appear. The max level is 5. Uh, as a result, uh, I, uh, the odds of finding what I'm looking for will be a little bit higher. When given the if you're trying to find something in particular, uh, it's best to try to max out other things. That way, it'll narrow down the pool. So, it's more likely that I'll hit Blader Ring, because that's the next most important thing to upgrade. As I need to hit it level 5, and then find the card to evolve it. I do want to have enough damage to take everything out eventually. However, it's not that easy. It's not quite that way. As you can see, I'm already starting to get a bit overwhelmed. I will save my ult a little bit. Let's try to cut back to where I've already killed a lot of enemies so I can get more experience. my shield before I... See, I'm getting a little unlucky with the, the blader ring. At 15 minutes, I will automatically fight the boss. As a result, I want to have it before the boss fights, as it's very difficult to pick up experience once you've started the boss. And uh, having it would be very nice for the boss. Four. Okay, one more, and then I need to pick up a card from killing one of these. Probably the electric one. Okay. Keep the shield to stall while the heal. Okay. Lots of experience here I can pick up. I did not hit. Not much time left either. I want to do as much damage as possible though. Purple ones shoot these orbs, which is really annoying. Oh, big experience here. Later, Ang. I need to kill one of these. I use my ult to stall a bit. Ah, that's a lot of damage. Reach towards the heal. Yeah, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to. I just need to survive, which I just barely did not do. Unlucky. But we have more stuff to play around. A lot of potential options to unlock. Uh, I'm gonna put points in these. But now that there's more stuff unlocked, I have a lot more things to play around. Uh, I can now play around Max Health and Static Sword. I can now evolve Seraphine's base weapon, which is very powerful. So there's a lot of options to try to beat it. In, in this third run, we have three different weapons, actually four weapons that we can evolve. Uh, let's check out Static Sword because we just unlocked it and it evolves from max health, which we already had the ability to take. So, this is another very powerful weapon. 
Uh, max health isn't the most useful stats, but uh... It is used to evolve the sword, which is a very powerful weapon. So, in cases where you do have maximum health, uh, static sword is a very good option. And already, uh, because I have a weapon that evolves from it, it'll show that this is the case. Oh, I can also evolve Woo Woo Blaster because I unlock the ability haste. That's a that's a big one. Ability haste, which I don't have the ability to roll later on. You will be able to, but I need to be very careful with what I pick, as I have limited slots. Ability haste is used to evolve Ooh Blaster, as I've been saying. So I do definitely want to pick that one up. It's also one. It's also probably just the best stat in the game to have ability haste. I can also evolve Lion's Lament, but I. For laidering. If it shows up again and I don't get Blue Blaster, I'll take it because an evolved weapon is better than an unevolved weapon pretty much every time. However, it is, in my opinion, a worse weapon. I'm reading a little bit too much. Projectile count. The question is, do I want this? I'll take it, because it'll evolve. I think the correct choice was just not to take Static Sword, and to take... try to get Health Regen and the... the Cymex Flexors. It's, it's just the better stats. Sometimes, like, even... I would consider Static Sword a better weapon, but the stat is a, it's for sure a worse stat. So, because of that, I have very little health regen. The only health regen is what I have from the, the upgrades. You only need to have one point in the passive to evolve. Like, you just need to have it like there. You don't have to have points into it. So I'm not going to prioritize it at all. That's something I can evolve. That was very nice. Let's hold off on picking that up. Uh, uh, not dodge that. Oh, that's very nice. I should really get one. Okay, that's perfect. That means I have level 5 and predict that count, so this next one will be Revolved Serpent Weapon, which is very good. Uh, it makes it so these things return to me, which is just pretty much doubling my DPS in a lot of cases. I'm kind of close to Static Sword, so I'm not going to pick this up yet. We have evolved Static Sword, which is a very powerful weapon as well. I should be able to beat this level on this round. Because now I can actually take down these bosses. Unlike my last attempts, I have more than enough damage to do this. Into a little bit just to pick up this. I'm using his ability frames to avoid being punished for it. But yeah. Because I, I'm pretty confident in my ability to take down future uh, card providers. I'll pick up the cards now and then try to. Get as much experience as possible. Try to evolve 
Ooh, we've lost our last one. Ooh, we've lost her. I'm gonna go my way over to the card. And I have more than enough damage to this out. The boss has spawned, so I have to take him here. The boss in the stage is Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai drops this thing, you have to kill it, and then you can hit her. And then eventually it'll respawn, so you don't have to kill it again. So, let's just chase over Rek'Sai. Like, if you've noticed, like, ooh, blasters! All thing damage. I'll back up so I'll have some in this bloody fame soon. I need to dodge those shark attacks. I don't have a lot of healing, so I need to be very careful about taking damage. Quite important, I just avoid damage. But yeah, I have too many evolved weapons, like I am very strong. Oh, he just spawned this again, but I should be okay. And that's the first stage clear. Progressing is just about getting the right things or upgrades. Uh, trying to, for story mode, you just want to evolve as many weapons as possible. Uh, and you should be okay to um, move forward. So here on my live account, my main account, live server, I haven't made that much progress. I have, I'm still in hard mode. I haven't played that many games. Uh, I have a good amount of upgrades. Not everything. Uh. Like I, like I said, I prioritized experience gold, and then afterwards I just go for the ones that were, because that's what more interesting to me. Crit chance haste, because I play a lot of Yasuo. Uh, health regen armor, important. A little bit of damage, move speed. I, I just put a little bit of everything. Because I've been bouncing around different characters. But, uh, you're, uh, it just depends on what you want to play. I'm looking to probably finish off armor, health regen, damage. Uh, once I have the gold. So, I'll do I guess it's hopefully I just one-shot it. Now, because I like, these enemies are weak, I am, like, willing to take a little bit of damage if it helps me position my tornado it's better, get more XP. It's too early to call through gen. I'll take the train for now, since I probably will take damage. Until you have points in animal power, uh, probably are gonna be looking to take damage in most of the game. See, this I have to reroll. The others are too risky. 
uh, that's not ideal either. But I mean, it, that's effectively a reroll. Minus one reroll, and I only have one thing selected. Not the best start. This is not ideal either. I make a decision here. I don't want to get completely screwed over in the future. I'll take armor now. Try to look for ice armor. Spawn there. Okay, I already took one weapon. I didn't take another when I'm looking for better options. I do have to upgrade a little bit, otherwise this run won't be very doable. Stag Sword is nice if I had picked health, but armor is a better stat. And I think ice armor is about as good. Um, not great. I still need to max stuff out. If this were our, one of the last two maps, I would have taken the healing on gold. Just because it's a little harder, but this one should be fine. Okay, I should hopefully a buff spawns about now. It is time for it. I don't have a lot of damage besides the crossbow. If a train decides to hit the crab, but I don't think I'll, it will. Okay. Hopefully this rolls into something that allows me to kill it. So I have to roll. I have to reroll this. It's too risky to take other stuff here. Ooh, Buster, that is ideal. The best thing I could have gotten. It was early enough. There's no point in holding that. I have to upgrade it because I don't want the other two. Now, if I get a weapon that's like good. Okay, I saw somewhere for chance. I'll take the weapon here. I have enough slots that I can risk postponing crit chance. I'm not that close to evolving anyway. Right, let's take a weapon that I'm perfectly content with. Roll the passes and hope that I get it back, which I should. Uh, okay, haste is a better stat. Well, that was a more important weapon, and then weapon. I have three points in cross. Okay, I see it came back. We're good. Now I'm just looking for damage, and then one more stats. Because I have Ooh Blaster, projectile count is takeable. As that one really likes projectile count. Yeah, I'm strong enough. There's a bomb here too. Actually, that bomb is really, really clutch. I'll use it like 15 seconds. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Ooh, blaster. Damage. And then from here on it's just weapon upgrades. I'm not that close to evolving so I'm just taking the card. And I took a little bit I'm taking a bit of damage. I'd be a bit better with it. Well, I shouldn't go into this corner. I should try to bring it out. Oh, there's a buff. I will gladly take that now. That's not bad. This character is not that good, but... Like, for, um, in terms of damage. 
But I mean, it makes me ooh, blaster, blast faster. Yeah, I'm still not that close. Ooh, Blaster. I would also not complain if I evolved that one early. Super chance. Any of the, these three? I mean, these are the three better ones to evolve early. There's an Octo right here. Okay. Here? The gathering speed, there's enough time for me to do so. Oh, there's a lot of stuff spawning right now. No power on the ground, but I do have an evolve when the one spawns. I will go with this because I'm going to be overwhelmed soon. Fox Ice Hammer. Watch. There's a electric as well. Electric Wait. So that's ooh faster. Evolved. I am now pretty stable. I don't have to worry that much. This guy's cringe, but I can do this. Oh, he's just cheating. And then I'll just take this next one too. I'm um, not that close. Okay. On the on the Belveth trial, I'll get enough XP to hopefully level something for an evolve. Oh wait, never mind. For this one, it's the good spawn points for the can just the wind wall. Wind wall early comes back up. I use my three E's. Buff spawn, so it's a little late they can get it. I'll get it immediately after though. So that doesn't despawn. Okay, they're gonna fall for free. Oh, oh this is the perfect time for this. Let's go fall. Um... Oh. What? It didn't. Okay. Oh. Easy eye frames there. That's a lot of gold. Holy moly, that's a lot of gold. Train. I, I mean, it's the double gold drop at the same time. I'm eating good tonight. This is, I mean... Ooh, Blaster is just doing all the work for me. The Cogmals are further back. If it, I'll hold off them. I won't. I'll leave the one. Okay, this last card I'll have to leave. I like that now you like have like little box POV. It's darker, except for your spotlight. Yeah, it's over here. Okay, so this, there's another buff here. Let's see. This is kind of useless. Another quarter. I already have the other gold one. I don't know what the math checks out to. But. Yeah, okay. I'm not complaining. But it's our magnets. Okay, now I just prioritize the better stats.
haste and damage and put a fuck on such as the Wobbles now. Start making more to that. Perfect. I just pick everything up in the last thirty seconds. Oh, there's a buff spawning. If I can get it into the boss. I'll be great. I don't know how much time it's It just spawned perfect. Let's get this word. Uh oh, this will help me quicker. Not that useful for the boss, but it'll help me quicker anything up. Focus on the other side because all the stuff in the middle of the map. No. Oh. Couple of random magnets spawn. Okay, the blue blaster this fight is very easy. I just focus on dodging when she starts firing stuff. Use those E's for damage. I mean, the buff is very nice here for dodging. Use the dash to interrupt the circle, which otherwise I would have been caught on. Oh, I did not size that properly. Now, I can just hover in the wind wall just like in real league. Just be safe from the projectiles, and then it's over. Lots of damage for your roll. Very nice. We love those. Uh, okay. So let's do armor damage. Pretty good. Next up is Saturnine Lab, which uh, is a pretty big difficulty spike for every difficulty. It's just much harder than the first two maps, so. We'll see how that goes at a different time. Now heading on to extreme mode, uh, we have a couple changes in terms of our priorities. If we look at our upgrades, you should have about everything maxed. If not, you should focus on maxing pretty much everything other than animal power, which will take way too long to max. But uh, everything else should be mostly, if not completely set. So what is animal power? Uh, this is what you unlock when you be a chocolate on hardwood uh, and it's just a stat boost every time you level it up as you can see it gives damage movement speed ability haste and pickup radius damage and ability haste uh, as i've been saying are the two best stats in the game so to have a nice source of those uh, that you'll keep leveling up uh, is pretty good like obviously the number is low but you all your gold is going to go into this so it's not it's not that bad at all. Move speed is also one of the better stats to have. And pick up radius, I mean, sure, why not? I have to fill up the text somehow. Because of that, we are going to have more damage and ability haste than we normally do. So our priorities are going to be a little bit more skewed. Additionally, we're also going to have more rerolls than we did. I don't have every reroll, I mean, but I think I have like, what, five? Which isn't enough to be able to prioritize playing around weapons. You want to play around your best weapons uh, for your character. You want to identify what your most important stats are. And uh, with your excess stats, uh, put them into things that you are lacking. Because of that, uh, defensive stats become more useful as you're mostly going to be dealing with uh, getting one shot or two shot by 
stronger enemies. Uh, and you don't need every set. You're prioritizing your weapon evolves and strong weapons. So once you have those, you will have space for defensive stats. So I highly recommend you focus on those. In extreme mode, uh, I think the best character uh, becomes Riven. Just because you have the bonus move speed. And she also has the attack damage like that everyone benefits from. But this is like uniquely like you're double dipping in increased effectiveness. So it works well. And her, her passive shield makes her pretty much invulnerable for like the, the second half of the game. And you're, you should be pretty safe. If you survive the early game, you'll, you should be fine. Fine. Air size is a pretty good stat on Riven. So we're looking here, uh, Riven, uh, damage, air size, crit chance, move speed. You have a lot of move speed, and getting the damage passive doesn't evolve particularly good weapons. The mine, the shark mine, and the train are like okay, but there's better weapons to look for, so I'm not gonna prioritize that. Okay, we have ideal weapon number one, Ubu Blaster, always good, kind of mandatory to be able to deal with bosses. Uh, three good options, it's like weapon, uh, it's a good move speed weapon. Now if damage shows up, I might take it, but... I might not if there's better options. Good weapon. Error size, you don't have that much of, so it's good to have a bit of it. Especially since me, uh, Riven's range is dependent on it. Okay, here. I don't want to take this. I want to look for a better weapon. I could take damage. It's not a high priority. I want to make sure I hit my other stuff first. The important things are going to be move speed and crit. I have enough rerolls to guarantee that. If I hit those, this run should be playable. I shouldn't have anything to worry about. I'll pick up the card now because I don't have. I'm not like even remotely worried about anything. Okay, here. Do I take this? I don't know if I do. I mean, it's, it's good enough, I think. It's, it's it's much better than the Shark Mine, and it's pretty much guaranteed of all if I get crit. Crit. See, like, everything hurts. And because of that, I th it's pretty important to look for defensive stats. Okay, weapon upgrade. The closer we are to early of all, the better. Oh. It's for sure this. Repress tab. My damage is already quite high. Ability haste. A little more done in considering Riven's basic attack doesn't need ability haste, but it's used to evolve Ulu Blaster. And it works well with pretty much everything else, so I'm not going to complain. I'd rather overstack, overload the amount of ability haste I have than damage. I want to get a lot of damage from a lot of other sources anyway, probably. I just prioritize the weapon I can evolve the fastest, which means the highest level. Because once I get one, it becomes easier to get the others. Okay, well, if they're all leveling up equally, I mean, that's not exactly what I want. Oh, this one's. Flying. Unfortunately, I have nothing at level 4. So I'm not even like close to. Let me see. 4. 5. It's hard to know. Evolved up in. That'll keep me pretty healthy. Okay, here. I think armor, it's just the best defensive stats. It's 
Like, just flat damage reduction is going to be more valuable than max health. Especially with the massive shield that Riven's going to have, it's better to be taking less damage than to have more health. That is what effectively the shield is anyway. If there's any defensive stat to prioritize, it's going to be armor. And all the characters, a regen is also decent, but not as good as armor. Plus, it gives you the option to get Ice West Armor, which very good weapon. Hello? Okay. Oh, I'll take it. I have a build case anyway. And more move speed is more move speed. Not bad. That's when the bombs are spawning. Just path towards as much speed as possible. A level fours and a level fives. Magnets. There isn't much stuff on the ground, but I mean, I'll take it anyway. Ooh, bosses. Spares me the need to have the... Okay, I'll take one. Four. Everything's four. Nothing is five. But there's, like, it's early enough into the game and I'm not worried about dying. I just take it. Okay, well, that's one. Oh, where's the other one? What? I feel two there. Two Pogmaws, and I didn't get one of the cards. Whatever. Okay, I'll just take this now. Still not, I mean, duration is not useful. I'll have to take area size, maybe it's better if I, here I, I make a decision. There's not much to real world for, so I just decide whether I want, does this scale with myself? I actually don't know. I think we're done safer. I don't actually pay attention to whether it's because of myself. I never take myself on Riven. It looks like it could scale. Make my shield even bigger. If it does scale, then obviously that would be the better. But in the event that I do get low, Regen is obviously going to be much more useful. Seahorse, pretty annoying. I have a Wu Blaster, so I'm not like really worried. Not tanky enough. To be a problem. I'm all ball. Pretty reliably, easily. I just pick everything up. Cross country. It's a little late, but I mean, it's by far the best option here. Max health and area size? Like, my god. Okay. Let's just cross the country. I always. <laughs> my entire screen. Oh, if it's the movement speed stuff, I would. Oh, yes. I don't have a ramming runner, but it will help me stack cross country. That is a non factor. Like, even that giant frog elite's not gonna threaten me. Just keep moving. At this point, boost speed is way more reliable. Take 
mark space or for armor. Nine stacks. What, 27% damage? Health. Very size. Not really gonna take damage here. Only phase two has enough hits done to worry about. Ooh Blaster will take care of me here. If you don't have Ooh Blaster, pretty much no way to deal with these on most characters. Like get almost your Zaya. I can have the single target DPS. Uh, I hit some forever, but I'm not taking damage from it. It only becomes worrisome when I get chain hits done. So that means I don't have a shield. And then it could be a problem. But the armor does help a lot, considering I'm stacking health, I'm stacking everything else but armor. Nothing to hit means nothing to... Give me shield. Same here to try to hit both. Just focus on dodging. That's all there is to do on the character anyway. I should kite towards or he's gonna go to and take all this XP. I can't take too long because there is a, f a flat timer on the game, which is 20 minutes. If I take too long on the boss, then the game, it, it, it just like. I don't know. Okay. Ooh, Blaster. Again, doing all the work. Okay. Try to avoid getting hit. Hit these other enemies for shields. Oh. See, like a tenacity stat would be pretty good here. Probably more than the regen. I can't dodge that. But regen C will help me here. Generate shield before I re engage. Wait for ult again. Okay, add it. The bar to hit, like, hit him is not very high, so... Uh, that's not gonna hit stun. Too much stuff at once. I'll actually take regen here. Just give me a little bit of a buffer. I'm also stacking cross country while I'm fighting him. I don't know how many stats I got since I fought him. I'm at 20 now, so it's kind of a lot. I just came up more dangerous. Longer eye. Okay.
Well, the more of those he throws, he gets, the more problematic he'll be. However, I just hit him by doing anything. So, just like that, extreme mode can be done. Obviously, Raven's the best character for this, but with other characters, it's okay. Uh, you probably just need a bit more into animal power.